Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. Well look at this, the sun's almost out. Yes, summer's on its way, but more importantly, the lockdown is easing in the UK. So I feel like putting the roof down. Now I haven't had the roof down all the way through lockdown, so it's been well over a year. And, uh, but it's lovely and it's the real reason to have a convertible. I mean, you might as well have an E63 if you're not gonna put the roof down. But this is great, this is fantastic. This is just what a 650 E64 is for. Bit of warmth out there now, sun trying to come out and driving along little lanes and a bit of motorway driving as well in a minute. Yeah, it's fantastic. So yes, over a year since the roof has been down and that meant I had to do a couple of things. First one was to recondition the soft top. After a year of not being used, it's got a bit green, to be honest. It went very green, very spotty, lichen on it, bird droppings on it. I scrubbed those off, but it leaves marks. So that needed a lot of work to get it back into the correct condition. And also what I've done is recondition the seats. And you need the, the seats to be in good condition to have the top down, because obviously the sun gets on them. So yeah, those two things. The soft top, I will warn you, <laughs> don't take it trivially, because it took me about four days to do it. Uh, because you've got to use the special compound to scrub it all down. You've got to put three coats of black on it and then two coats of waterproofing on it. Yeah, it's not easy, not a trivial thing. Off we go. Oh, this is great, great to be in the E64. The wind in your hair. It's marvellous, just what you need after a day's hard day's work. Get in the car, blow the cobwebs away. Yeah, it's fantastic. Right, well, here's all the stuff we're going to use to get the soft top back to perfect condition, the interior and the exterior as well, so we're all ready for summer. Also, you'll need, of course, a bucket of soapy water and a couple of sponges. And that's what we'll do first. We'll just clean the rooftop with the usual stuff, some I just use usual car cleaning stuff, just to clean the soft top, get any lamps off of it, get any bird droppings off of it, lint and stuff like that. Rinse it, give it a good rinsing with the hose, and then leave it to dry, well, more or less dry. And then paint on the first stage, which is the fabric soft top cleaner from Renovo haven't got any affiliation with it, it's just, <laughs> this is the stuff I've always used. So get you painted on, so pour that into the little bucket, paint it all on with the paintbrush, get everywhere, get all over the top, get down the sides and so on, and then just leave it half an hour for it to sort of get in there and start doing its job. And then when it's uh, given it 30 minutes or so, come back and then you need your bucket of soapy water and your sponge. An area of time, just put the water on from the sponge and then scrub it until your arms drop off. Yeah, that's the most important stage because that's the stage where you get all the green stuff off and the lichen and all the rest of it. And it, I tell you, it's hard work, it really is. I mean, my arms more or less fell off to in this stage. Yeah, unfortunately the camera wasn't working for the first part of it, but uh, catch me doing the second part of it anyway. So you give it a damn good scrubbing, really scrub in um, with your bucket of water and keep rinsing your brush 
and uh, your water ends up bright green. Well, mine did anyway. So yeah, give it a damn good scrubbing with a scrubbing brush. And uh, yeah, and then just rinse it all off. But that first stage is the most important and it's the stage where you're going to do the most work, I'm afraid. It really is hard to scrub it. But it's very important because it does, very important to get rid of all the green lichen with the scrubbing brush. So very important, spend a bit of time, build up your muscles and give it a good scrubbing. That's going to take you almost an hour to scrub it all over. And you keep on rinsing it with uh, soapy water, more scrubbing, and you really have to get down into all of these sort of areas as well, because they go green just as much as anything else does. Okay, so when you scrub, rinse it and keep on rinsing it until all the bubbles are gone, and then leave it to dry. And it's very important that it is dry. So that's the scrubbing action over. stage is to use the black and of course we've now got to put the sheets all over the car and what you do is you just pop the top up and the back up slightly as long as you leave your key in the car it will stay in that position um, all the windows dropped of course put the sheet under the back I'm afraid when the little window goes back up again it's going to rip the sheet it always does and I haven't found a satisfactory way of doing it but just get used to the fact it is going to rip the sheet. And when I did the front last time, I cut holes for the little claws to go in. Didn't bother with that this time. It doesn't take any notice. It just rips itself through the sheet anyway. And so that's front and back done. And then just put the sheet over the windows, lift up the windows. And it's important with this one here that you get right to the corner with the sheet uh, because it's the corner that it always drips from. So you just pull in the sheet into the corners so you're under that corner of the, just behind the rear window. Sorry, behind the rear side window, if you see what I mean. So yeah, get the sheets on, windows up on the left-hand side, driver's side, well, the other side in the US, obviously. You trap it beneath the side window and then the front window you put all the way up and then you close, take your key out, close the door and then the window will rise up and trap the last sheet. So now you've got 360 degree protection and you're ready to go. And you need protection for this black stuff. So I will warn you that if you get this on the paintwork and you don't notice it, it's stuck there until you use a rotary polisher or something like that. It doesn't come off with normal washing or with normal polishing. No, you need a rotary polish to get it off. So be warned, this stuff stains and it stains the drive as well. You don't want it on the drive. So it really makes a mess of it. So yeah, just take your time. So pour it into your bucket, two inch brush again, start in the middle and work your way out. And that's not too bad to do, especially after doing the fabric soft top cleaner. The reason for that is, is it makes it porous. Now, if I didn't do that and tried to paint this on, it tends to bounce off a bit and just run down the sides. So using the cleaner first, it's absorbent and it will take the black stuff really well. Rightio, so just take your time, start from the centre, work your way out and then do the sides. Spend a bit of time doing the sides um, because they do get a lot of uh, sort of wear from where the soft top uh, folds up when it closes or opens whichever way you think of it yep so spend your time and I'm afraid you've got to do three coats of it yet yeah. one certainly isn't enough two's getting close but three you definitely need three coats and that means it has to dry between each stage so this is going to take a couple of days or so
stage it's absolutely jet black it has, looks absolutely perfect you think ah oh, that'll do i can't be bothered to do anything else don't miss the next stage it's very important which is the waterproofing so we're going to use renovo's ultra ultra proofer i will warn you this, this can be a bit annoying and the reason for that is the first coat goes on really well it's very easy to do it gets absorbed into the roof quite well you start from the center move out and all the rest of it got to keep the sheets on by the way because this stuff will mark the paint and even though it's not so noticeable you will see streaks down the side of the car if it gets on the side of the car but I'm glad to say that the sheets did perfect job nothing went on to the paintwork at all first coat very easy second coat the next day well the soft top is absolutely waterproof now <laughs> so trying to get this on it's a terrible job it just bounces off again Yep, so the only way you can actually get it on is to use the end of the brush so you get a bit out of your thing and stipple it onto the soft top like that and just push it in as you go. It takes a heck of a long time just working your way out. If you just go like that with it, it just rolls off. <laughs> it's, it'll roll off and head for the side and you've got to catch it quickly with the paintbrush to stop it going down the side or onto the sheets or whatever. So yet yeah, the last stage of the ultra proofer uh, is really hard work because it takes so long so you've got to poke it in everywhere. But it's well worth it. How waterproof is the car? This is how waterproof it is. Yeah, pretty impressive, isn't it? Right, so that's the soft top all done. That's great. But of course, if we want the roof down, we've got to sort of protect two things now. In the summer, we need to protect the the bodywork, the paintwork, and we'll do that with Zane 08. I'll show myself doing that in a minute. And for the leather work, instead of using Zano stuff this time, so I use Zano for everything, I'm going to use Yellow Bees beeswax. And it's really got nothing much in at all. It's got beeswax, canuba wax, and pharmaceutical grade mineral oil. And that's it. No colours, no nothing like that. If your leather's looking good and doesn't need colouring, that's the stuff to use. Um, it'll really make it much more supple. And I know it makes leather very supple, so I did my leather jacket with it as well, and it worked really well on it. So yeah, yellow bees beeswax, and uh, all we got to do with that is we use two cloths. This is the removing cloth. Use a yellow cloth to put it on, so it reminds you that it's yellow, like the beeswax. Put it onto all the leather, leave it for about half an hour, and then just buff it off with another cloth. And it doesn't take you to do a long to do the whole leather in the car. It doesn't not long at all. So it really is just poking it on, leaving it a while, and polishing it back off again. And that's it. And all the leather's nice and supple, and the sun's not going to do it any harm at all. So yeah, that's that for the leather interior and then the exterior I'm going to use, obviously clean the car first and then use Grand Finale Zane 08, which I use on this and the 8 series. And not only does it make it really shiny, it's also UV resistant as well. So your paintwork's not going to be damaged at all.
There we go then. All done. Got much bigger muscles now. And how much of all that hard work can I see from here? Well, absolutely nothing. What a thing. I can feel the seats are nice and soft, but that's about it. But that's not the point at all with this sort of work. This sort of work sees the car through the whole year, through the summer and the sun and through the winter. It'll keep the car in great condition. And that's the most important thing. And the funny thing about working on cars like that is that the more you work on them, the more you enjoy driving them. And I'm really enjoying driving the car today in this sort of dappled summer weather. Yeah, it's a lovely day here in England. Thanks very much for all the comments you send. I really enjoy reading them and I try and answer them as soon as possible. Hit the like button if you like and subscribe. Always watch the videos to the end. Much better for my analytics. And I'm going to drive off into the sunset. Thank <laughs> you.